you know, consciousness is always here, so you're not actually moving from here to there. You're not actually getting anywhere. You're always the center of your vortex. You're always the center of your creation. You are through which experiences are manifested or seemingly made manifest or made visible more accurately because they already exist. Every potential configuration, every com potential movie picture already exists. But the sequence in which you make this visible to yourself depends on your vibratory state, depends on what you're sending out, depends on what you want to learn, depends on what's relevant for you, depends on your beliefs, depends on your expectations. You as the observer generate your conscious, sorry, generate your dream, generate your movie, whether that's consciously or not. One of the most important things to remember when it comes to attracting a life that is amazing to you is that you are the attraction. It's not out there. It's not over here. You are the point of attracting. You are the magnet that attracts different slides of creation. So you can always stay right here. You can always be yourself. You can always be grounded in the here and the now of who you are in a state of appreciation, in a state of joy, in a state of joyful anticipation, yet without anxiety, without lack beliefs, in other words. So with no lack beliefs, ideally, with no lack beliefs, you know that all exists inside of you here now consciousness. And all you need to do to attract an amazing life is activate a different string in your vibration, a different wavelength in what you emanate, in what you send out, in who you assume yourself to be, in who you define yourself to be in this moment. So you can stay right here and not think that you have to get something over there. Whenever you want something, whenever something appeals to you, whenever something seems to resonate with who you really are, when something out there seems to be a reflection of what you truly desire, who you truly are, instead of projecting it to be over there, understand that it's a symbol reminding you that everything is inside of here, and simply activate the frequency that gets triggered when you think of the thing, o thing over there. But let go of the idea that it's actually over there. Let it fill up your vibratory state over here. Very important difference. Otherwise, you generate the sense of separation, the sense of causality, the sense of it's not yet here. It's inevitable to generate the sense of it's not yet here if you project that what you want is over there. The mind is very logical, so automatically it will generate the sense of I'm not there yet, I'm not complete yet, I'm not happy yet, I don't have what I want yet, my life is not amazing yet. And when you feel that way, that's what you're attracting. I'm not amazing. I'm not there. I don't have what I want. Even though you think, you know, if you watch The Secret, and that's really all you know about life in an apart way, and you start thinking all these beautiful things that you want for yourself that feel like they're extensions of who you are as a soul, or just things that you think you want because you think you're not complete yet, whatever it is, you can visualize that all you want. But if it always comes with the sense of it's over there, you will always generate the sense of it's not yet here. And not yet here is a feeling that activates a certain vibratory state that then sends out, it's not here. What do you see back? It's not here, even though you keep thinking of the thing you want. So know that it's always going to be here. Let creation cycle through you. Don't go out of your way ever. The very fact that you're used to getting, going out of your way to get something is already coming from that sense of lack and insecurity. A confident person, some, if you see someone, even just on a material plane, if you see someone that seems to be really successful and really confident, even though on some level it might be a facade, sometimes it may be real, but what you'll always see is that there is a certain type of confidence there, a certain type of arrogance maybe even, depending on what it's filtered through in their particular makeup. However, what it all has in common is they don't feel like they have to get out of their way to get what they desire. It's a certain type of arrogance of everything comes to me. I've got people cleaning my things. I gotta just go get this for me, whatever it is, even if it's super arrogant. But there is a similarity there to someone being really empowered, which is the understanding everything cycles through me. Everything comes to me. I don't go anywhere. I'm lazy. I'm powerful. I'm free. I'm expensive. And in our case, that would be I contain every possible reality I desire. All that I need to do in order to activate it is to feel that it's already here. When you feel that what you desire is already here and you eliminate all sense of there being a distance, 
A, you get instant gratification because you feel as if there's no difference between having it or not having it. And B, it will actually show up in some fashion. Does that make sense? So be arrogant in that way. It doesn't mean you lose kindness or compassion or love or integrity. It simply means you're arrogant enough to know that you are the center of this universe, that you are God. It's a certain type of arrogance, but it's also the truth. The one is very arrogant, but it cannot be negatively arrogant because it all knows that it's only the only thing there is. Since there is only the only thing there is, arrogance is not really an option in its mind. But from our point of view, the one is very arrogant because it contains everything that there is. So be like that. Be confident. Be free. Be powerful. Feel powerful. Feel like everything cycles through you, comes to you. Don't go out of your way. If you're going out of your way, you're already defining there to be some kind of lack. And when you define there to be some kind of lack, you will activate that in the vibratory state of your being. And then the mirror that you project, the movie that you project onto the inside of the sphere of your I am consciousness, this seemingly three or four dimensional world, will start to generate images that reflect how you feel, what you believe, what you put out. So be mindful of what you put out and let it always be a state of fulfillment of some kind. If you notice that there's something that you desire that is not here right now physically, notice that. Think of the thing or imagine or embody the energy of the thing that you desire and what it triggers in you. Why do you want it? What does it symbolize? A certain state of being, a certain feeling, feeling good, feeling amazing. Let it trigger that feeling of amazement and let go of all sense of here versus there, now versus then, separation, lack, isolation, and just feel what it feels like to be that complete. And when you do that, A, you'll have instant gratification, and B, the thing that wants to come to you can actually show up to you because you're not keeping it away by feeling like it's not here. If you keep saying it's not here yet, it's not, I want that so much. I want that relationship. I want that car. I want that house. I want that career. I want that job change. I want that state of being. I want that state of self-realization, whatever it is. But I want it. I want that one that's over there. It can come to you because what you're sending out is it's over there. And it goes, okay, I'll keep making it appear over there, over there, over there. Are you sure? Yes, it's over there. Okay. That's why you have to be careful not to be too reflective of what is, but be more creative of what you want. Be more in the creative space. The mind is not reflective, it is creative in nature. Whatever you think is in the process of becoming something, becoming an experience, a more fully embodied experience. So don't just randomly think and reflect upon what is, as if that's real, because you'll only continue to reassert what is, and then your next parallel reality shift, which is a 100% completely different universe, no structural relationship to your previous one whatsoever, 100% different, will have to look similar to your previous creation because you keep sending out what you already know. So you have to, in a sense, become a little bit delusional, just a little bit, where you let go of what is. You stop reasserting what is so that change can actually happen because change happens through you, to you towards you. It shows up for you. So if you want what you see to change, you need to change your vibratory state. If you keep paying too much attention to what actually is, your vibratory state will continue to reflect your previous vibratory state, which has been made manifest through your circumstances, which you now reflect because you think it's real. And then what you send out to your future image is the same thing. And so the same thing will show up. 